Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today we're going to be talking about level 10 life and I am pretty certain at some point of your bullet journal journey you have come across the level 10 life. Now, this concept was originally created by a guy called Hal Elrod, and he has an amazing podcast. Check it out. Um, and essentially what it is, is it's looking at different parts of your life that kind of make up your whole life. So it could be your career, it could be your family, it could be your personal life, it could be your environment that you're in, it could be your heart, it could be anything. It could be romantic, it could be travel, it could be whatever it is that is important to you or the values that you place on kind of, you know, those things that make up your life, you should rank them on a scale of one to 10. 10 being amazing, one not being so great at all. And you kind of have a really good gap analysis of what seems to be missing or how you can fill those gaps up. Now, there are a number of ways to do this and it's not rocket science, it really isn't. So essentially, me personally, I like to keep my segments pretty straightforward and pretty small. I usually try and keep them to family, um, career, business, just really simple ones because I don't want to take up or overanalyze my entire life or else I will spend forever staring into space, wondering about what goals I should put down and how I can improve and etc. So I try and keep it pretty focused. One of the things I've done in the past, however, is in the past I have actually done 12 segments and the 12 segments I focus on one a month. So let's say one segment is career. For the entire month of January, I'll focus on all my career goals. Um, I want to try this. I want to do this. I want to see that. I want to, you know, network here. I want to do a whole bunch of different things. And then the next month, I'll move on to something else. Like, oh, I want to make my environment really lovely. Um, or I want to improve my business or professional development goals or personal development goals. Whatever it might be, you focus on one a month. So I find that quite a helpful hack starting out if you're not quite sure where to focus your goals. Focusing your goals, however, can be really challenging. So another thing that I like to do personally, and it's not part of the um, system at all, I just kind of do it because I think it's a great idea, is let's say, for example, you rank family a 7 out of 10. What is a great way to fill up those three spots that you seem to be missing is have three really lovely goals to fill up those three spots that are missing. So let's say for example, it's a family thing. Um, I need to visit my family more. Um, I need to spend more time outdoors. I, whatever it is, put it down three that you can achieve and then kind of break them down into bite-sized chunks during your month. So on your monthly spread, you have your front page and you kind of go through those goals and make sure that you're kind of meeting them on a month to month basis. What a perfect way to keep checking kicking in to making sure that you're filling those gaps that you feel you might be missing in your life. Now a con of the level 10 life is you can go into analysis paralysis essentially and there is nothing wrong with your life but there might be parts of your life that you want to improve so don't do it if you're not really keen on doing additional goals or trying a couple of additional things but if you're really keen into self-improvement and you want to do something a little bit different give it a go it doesn't hurt to try it that's the joy of bullet journaling is it's unique to everybody you know it's it's totally customizable to your environment and your feel so don't feel pressure to go ahead and then you know go ahead with like hundreds of these goals that you may just feel overwhelmed by no strip it back you may only want to divide your life up into family uh, financial and career you know you don't need to break it up into all these different segments so try and keep it simple. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome. Super happy to have you here. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything that may come up. And also hit the subscribe button because I always welcome new subscribers. And who doesn't want to see my crazy on a weekly basis? Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button and let's get started on my level 10 life.
Okay, so for my level 10 life, I am using the back pages of my Archer and Olive Undated Planner. I'm really excited by this because I can use watercolor paint and I can also use my um, ink pad, which usually bleeds through on normal paper, but here it doesn't bleed through at all. So I'm going to start off by finding the right pen firstly, <laughs> silly me, and then I'm going to get straight into creating my level 10 life. Okay, I am going to measure out the 10 segments that I'd like to have for my level 10 life. I'm just going to kind of create it really simply. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little cheat trick here is I'm going to use little paint, um, little paint kind of tubes. And I'm going to make my level 10 life a little paint swash, which I thought could be really fun and kind of change it up. Last time I did a level 10 life, I did um, some really sweet uh, kind of fireflies in little jars. Um, and that was really fun, but I decided to change it up this time and add a little bit of a rainbow color to my level 10 life. Let's label the segments. I nearly forgot to do that. This time I'm going with some really simple ones. I'm going to go with family, romance, career. I'm going to go with my business, my environment. So the current environment that I'm in. And then I'm going to stick with dun, 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 my health which is always terrible. Now I'm going to use my little paint swash to kind of decide how far up the 10 rung point system I am going to go. Let's get that finished. As you can see, I absolutely love my job. I think it's a fantastic job and I also love the environment I'm in. I'm in a lovely place that's right next to the beach and I absolutely adore that. However, my health, not so fantastic. So now on the other side, I'm going to have matching colors. I'm going to give it just a quick wash over the page and then I'm going to go back and put down some goals that I'm going to try and achieve over the next couple of months.
perfect, super duper simple. I've got my coffee in hand, finished off my goals, and now we're ready to go. Now, if you, I would love to see how you recreate this. So please feel free to tag the art of Bujo, and I look forward to seeing your recreation. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.